thing we'll see the physical lab setup let's say if you are planning for any kind of physical lab setup for ccna security uh, probably i don't recommend for physical setup but definitely you need to know about the physical setup because let's say if you want to implement some features probably mostly i, I prefer simulation uh, which is something you can go ahead with but at the same time when you are trying to implement the same thing in the production networks you need to know information about the specific hardwares uh, or the router models you need to select or the asa firewall models so this this information is something uh, important so mostly this this video will be focusing more on the lab requirement uh, you need to have at least three cisco isr routers because in most of the labs i'll be using cisco routers maybe three hardly i, I use three but this is something what i use for for most of my labs uh, maybe you can add one more if you want but mostly in my routing labs i use four routers but in, in in terms of security you need just three and also you need to make sure that uh, particular routers isr routers uh, it can be any of these models probably easily available on on online if you if you are going for used products like 1800 or 2800 series so if you can go for isr second generation you can also go with some 1900 or 2900 series routers so probably the ibs versions can be either 12.4 or 15 dot ibs versions because most of these routers you can upgrade them to 15 dot and also make sure that uh, they support most of the features what you want to implement and verify the ibs versions so we, when you're trying to upgrade the ibs probably check the check whether it supports uh, most of the most of the topics uh, most of the ibs topics are common but like zone based firewall or ips maybe you want to implement some ios based ips in that case so you need to check that so you can use something called cisco uh, feature navigator uh, it's the best source to find out which ios versions supports on which platforms or which ios versions support which feature probably it's something you can search based on a specific software or the platform or based on some code images so if you just want to go through you can either use this link or i generally go with cisco feature navigator option in the google probably you'll find the link and you can see the options here we can either research based on the features or the software or we can also compare the releases the multiple images uh, and then releases means like comparing both the images what feature differences you have uh, maybe you want to update to the image uh, you can compare your new image with the older image and also you can see some of the images which are end of life or no more present so let's say if i'm if i'm going with a research feature option then most likely you see here uh, some options now you need to decide what is the feature set you want to implement like in the most of the production scenarios let's say you want to buy a router and you need to figure out which router actually suits your requirement uh, maybe a distribution core or access that depends upon the uh, where you exactly want to place that particular router but at the same time let's say I, I decide to go with some distribution level router maybe some 38 or 28 series routers or maybe 29 39 series the current series uh, probably you need to decide which uh, platform supports what features and also what image you want to uh, you you need to have what what is the ios image so let's say i want to implement something like zone based firewall feature that's something uh, what i want just a feature set type in the feature and then filter probably then you'll see the feature set here uh, like zone based firewall and if you just add it and then click continue you will see uh, specific ios platforms which supports ibis versions in in fact in ibis xe as well and also we can see uh, specific platforms what are the specific platform it supports so you need to just figure out whether your your router whatever you have uh, is in the list or not or you can actually verify implementing also but this is something uh, useful when you want to decide to go for a new router or add some router in the production networks so i do recommend you to use this feature called cisco feature navigator option uh, it will be very useful feature in general so there's the first thing selecting the routers so minimum three routers and then some switches 
2960 switches which support some of the layer 2 security features so most of the switches support some of the basic security like port security or any other options but let's say you are implementing some ARP inspection or dynamic ARP inspection or maybe DHCP snooping features you can again uh, check with the Cisco feature navigator to figure out which platform supports those a uh, couple of switches to implement layer 2 security and of course uh, we'll be using some ASA firewalls so if you can manage a small double five zero five or double five one zero firewall that will be sufficient if, if possible if it has having some SSM module for adding some uh, additional cards probably this option and then finally the cables mostly the straight through or the or the cross cables so you can also visit the official website probably to see uh, if you just want to compare uh, the models like let's say if I'm going with the cisco.com website this one or so you will get actually some kind of data sheets data sheets will show you what is the information about the product and what what exactly they offers how many ports or the feature set you'll find all those details in general so you can you can actually compare the models uh, you can just go on the Cisco website and compare the different models of the switches to decide which switch actually you want you to set up if you want to implement some layer 2 security features or which router you want to you need to set up in general like some basic history of the routers like starting from 2500 series 26 and now we use something like ISR second generation routers due to families um, and also you have some high-end routers like the, the routers with 4551 X series uh, based on IWS XC platforms.